So, basketball discourse community. This is the discourse community that I belong to. Let's talk about it. When it comes to communication wise, you can use Instagram, your phone number, or um, speaking. Any form of communication will work to figure out what next event and where it will take place in the basketball discourse community. My experience with basketball has been great. I got into basketball at around um, sixth grade. I tried out for the JV team and I made it. And it was very fun, made a lot of different friends and we just built our relationship. And I'm friends with some of them today. Built rivalries, we all compete to make each other better. Um, I played all the way up to my 11th grade year. So yes, I. it was very fun for me. And I still play sometimes, every now and then. Now I want to talk to you about Lexis. Lexis are different words or phrases used in a certain discourse community. In basketball discourse community, Lexis could be ball, pass me the rock, um, head top, baby. Ball means in a game or out of a game, somebody's asking you to pass them the ball. Um, pass me the rock means the same thing. Head top means somebody got dunked on. And baby means like you're taunting the the person like you just hit a good move on or, or you dunked on them or you like posterize them in the paint. Posterize means like push around somebody to get to the hoop in a basketball game. The basketball discourse community can get wild sometimes. It could be over competitive, there could be fights, but overall you could just join it just to have fun, just to go out there and put some cardio um, and just to like exercise. You could play on your own sometimes, but that's not what the discourse community is. Being, getting some friends and going to play at your local um, court or gym is all you need. Just to go out there and have fun. Just to better yourselves in the sport if you want to. Obviously, there's a certain level of knowledge you need to know for this discourse community, as with others. In this discourse community, you need a certain level of basketball IQ to be able to have fun. If not, you will not know what is going on on the court and you will not be able to enjoy it. Meaning you won't be able to get any points in or be able to block somebody if you don't know what you're doing. Don't fret though, because all things come with time. You'll be able to get this knowledge over time and get better and better with your skills in this discourse community so that you will be able to have fun in the future and that you will be able to beat other people in this sport. The main idea of this vlog is to get you as much information as possible on this discourse community and maybe even have you join it. So now I will show you examples of friendships, um, different games, and just having fun, like from NBA um, in this video. This is a video of LeBron's game winning shot. As you can see, they're passing the ball, doing teamwork. And then he's in a 1v1 situation. He takes a step back and shoots, and he makes the game winner. This is an example of the teamwork and the basketball IQ that you need to have in this sport. As you can see here, this is a picture of LeBron, Wade, oh, my bad. As you can see right here, this is a picture of LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and Bosch when they were on the Miami Heat together. And they played together for a long time. I'm sure in practice, they gave each other their hardest when they went against each other, played against each other, tried to make each other better for the games because they did what they loved. And this right here is a picture of Kobe and, sorry again. This is a different picture of Kobe and Shaq. They didn't get along too well on the court, but off the court, they are best friends. So this show goes to show that basketball could build friendships on and off the court. Thank you again for staying all the way through the video. I hope you take the information from this video, however you need, and just get on the court. Just have fun and play. And remember, it's just to have fun. And thank you for making it far into this video.
Uh, beach. Oh, yeah.